Hello, welcome to another video. Now, we're at uh, Hendon Promenade here, and as you can see behind me, I don't know if you see, there's a lovely little swell on. A few waves coming over, there's kind of few fishing. Uh, I've just set up down here with um, a bit of gigger. Hopefully, we're going to get some cotton tonight. It's a nice swell, as you can hear in the background, you can hear the waves roaring. We've almost gotten wet once, but it's perfect, so I'll show you what bait I'm going to be using tonight. One type of bait I'm going to be using quickly, and then I'll get it out there in the water, and hopefully, we'll get some fish. Right. Now, this is the bait I'm going to be using, I've just got 6-7 script on because of the swell. It's a simple, I'll just quickly do it, run through it. It's basically a one out flap type of thing with a panel. You've seen it before if you're watching videos. It's got a chin hook on there, one or and then three or And this here is what's called a cart stick. It's normal in the northeast for like codlin. You see like inside of a hen crab, I think it is. All inside and just finger bandage and stuff. I've used them. I've got what's called cart wings as well, which isn't, this is the whole thing in the tub as well. I've got some ragworm in here, some good ragworm, you'll see. These are the ones with the pincers for those beginners. Them are the ones that can nip you. Uh, you'll see. See it? Go on. Go on, show your pincers, go on. Yeah, I think that's doing a bit camera shy. The pincers are there anyway. You probably should not be able to see them, but they're there. Got ragworm, squid, part, there's some uh, mussel and uh, squid bombs as well. I brought down a couple of squid bombs. We've got a choice, obviously, we braid any fish any which, anywhere, which is perfect in the swell and holds the tide well. And it's perfect for using braid because it's a nice soft tip. And it's absolutely ideal for anywhere here. Thing is, the only problem where we're fishing here, I'll quickly show you. These rocks here, now these can cause a problem if we get decent fish hauling up. But there's a, the only other spot available over there is that one. And that one will be too hard because Realistically, there's a load of waves, waves coming out, and that's how I want to say it's absolutely drenched. I mean, you can tell over there where it's coming out of there. Look, oh, that there, that's what I was going to say. And we're instead, we're going to fish here. If we get a decent fish, carry it in on a wave and just haul it, haul it, haul it, get to the wall and handball it over the top. That's the aim of the game. Stephen's going to come down to him, uh, give us assistance, hopefully, his expertise with his recent catches will get us a few fish. Uh, it's a lovely night for it. It's high tide in about an hour, so we'll be fishing in the darkness fishing a few hours of the ebb tide and hopefully we'll get a fish or two tonight. How are the lads? That's sun that's for uh, right, you won't know unless you're from Sunderland about that. Or Newcastle where it's all we are the lads. Made to come on basically. Let's hope we'll get some fish. Alright then I'm just about to cast out I'm just going to melt it down. To so find your finger port that is. <laughs> ha there it is there. I'm over what used to casting with uh, like braid or you can use it on monofilament to be honest. I've just got a camera resting on my box thing at the minute. Hopefully it doesn't take some footage. As you can see, I've got a decent cast there. I don't know if you've seen it on the camera. But uh, about 80, 90 yards, maybe a bit more. I didn't cast that as well as I would have liked normally. It's only my first cast, so I always give myself a bit of labour. You'll never, you'll never be a casting champion every day. I'll just get the braid. I'll let a bit of slap on my braid, just a touch of slap. Just so that uh, weight and that can get bedded in and stuff like that. And then I'll normally tighten straight up after. But there you go, it's up in the water. Uh, as I said before, it's a pretty good night. We should get some fish. There you go, that's me got out. It's down uh, the bottom end of Hendon Promenade. And that's the top end up there. That's the main car part area where you come down and you drive it all the way along here. You can actually spin your car around at the end over there. Ah, just a little more here. Hey, just a little dip for when you're fishing away. You're watching that there. Steve's so just, just there, seeing he's here. Good. Do you see, you see like it falls down, little taps? That, in conditions like this, and if it pulls and it goes like that, that's what them are. It's the waves. A bite, a big, any fish in these sort of conditions, a big fish bite, which is what we're really after, like anything, say, four, three to five pound, maybe bigger. Believe it or not, 
That's two minutes. Aye, so I've backed out of bikes anyway. If you get one, you'll know the difference straight away. You'll see it's a lot, it could be a lot sharper and it'll be more of a bang, you know. You'll, you'll clearly see. I mean, mate, Steve, the other day it was massive waves and our rods were going like this every two seconds and this happening and everything springing back. And then you're seeing a bite and you're just saying bang, bang, bang. You'll tell straight away and you go, oh, that's a bite. Even as a beginner, you, if, you, if you think it's a bite, if you think it is a bite and it looks like a much swell, just pick it up and feel your line. If you can pull it up and you feel it actually kicking back in your hand, the fish, you know, oh, yeah, there's a fish on. If it pulls at you and it kicks, you know. That's a telltale sign as well. The lad just fishing there has just gone. Don't know why. It's an hour before height high and it was decent swell, so hopefully that's not a bad sign, but I'll keep plugging away with decent baits and hopefully we might pull a fish out. I'm not lying, it's fucking how quick conditions can change. Do not forget to see the white caps. It's starting to blow quite a bit. The lad down there just got soaked in all your hair. was, ah, F U Z K here, fuck. Got absolutely drenched away. We nearly jo just joined the club there. Got to hold the trike, but actually, because it's that windy, believe it or not, the wind's picking up. We might not be able to hear it. It's just come out of nowhere. That shows how quick conditions can change, like when you're not near the sea. Ah, uh, not had an out yet. It's enough. We're gonna get out, but we'll keep going and pulling. It's sort of more like a cod type of sea, so hopefully, we should pull a fish or two in. Hi, right. You're gonna be looking and think, oh, why are we here? Why? We tried to fish uh, Hendon Prom, but it was too uh, too much uh, what swell and that, and it got really bad there, wind and the rain. So we've come here instead. We're going to try it there. Uh, st oh my God, here Stephen's about to just cast out now. Actually, I'll just show you Stephen casting out quickly. He's just about to cast. He's just ready for it. There you go, mate. Decent high out from Stephen. We'll get some fish here today. Uh, what the ramp? Like a ramp, like a boat launch ramp type of thing. It doesn't get used obviously during the night. But there's the right out corner over there. The glass centre of the walls there. This is the river where. There's a bit of stuff in the water, but I want to cast out. It's not too bad. Uh, I'll give it a go. There might be some chance of small coddling, like pound, pound and a half. I've had a couple out of here before. And some whiteies as well, obviously, flowing in from the river. So we'll give it a go. I'll show you if we get out. Just caught this fish here. A uh, small coddling. Not bad, that was took ragworm and squid. Uh, both of us had good knocks last couple of casts, so hopefully there's some small cod in there, steaming over there. So the video quality is a bit worse because I'm using Steven's phone, but uh, it's my camera's died. Well, my phone's died, battery's dead, so I'm trying to get any film in that camera, there you go. Decent fish, I'll get them hide back, and I'll show you if I get out else.